Now, let us see how this program is written in the compiler and how it runs. As you can appreciate on my screen, there is a program. And uh, this program has several lines. It starts with include your stream, include Conio, int main, this is open curly bracket, and this is a closing bracket. As we said earlier, this is the standard way of writing a program. So you can see now on the screen, there is int x, y. I may decide to change the labels. So I may say int, I can say you don't. I can say int, I can say ud, then I can say Moshi University, Moshi University. But these are just mere labels, but those are my variables. These, as we said, are rooms where we are going to store data. So now if I want to enter data, I'll come here and say, see in, then I want to enter data into the room called Udo. So I say here, Udo. Then that is the line one. Then I say scene, I put the input stream. I want to enter data into a variable called UD. I say UD, and now if that is the case, I will have, to, when I want to process, I will say that Mo, which has got no data now, equals to UDOM, that data from variable UDOM, plus the data from the variable UD. So, my naming was different from what you saw, is different from what you saw from the clip, because I want you to appreciate uh, the fact that variable naming is just to follow the rules that any variable should start with character rather than uh, uh, memorizing that all variables are called X, or they are called Y, and whatever. So you can see now, I want to see the data that, is be, that will be the result of my program. The results of my program will be in the variable called move. So I will say C out move. And then I finish with the semicolon. Now, that following line gets CH and return zero. These are standard ways of terminating a program so that you can see the results when uh, you, you compile or when you run it after entering that. So now, as you can see, we have a compiler here. And the compiler is a tool which enables us to enter our code into the, uh, into the computer for the computer to be able to interpret so when I come to this icon here, I have compiled, and as you can see, the report says that there is no, uh, the lines and warnings are zero, errors are zero. So for that matter, I believe my program is syntactically and uh, semantically correct. So I, when I come to this icon here, I am running, and the screen that is appearing in front of me is waiting for me to enter data. So in the first variable, I enter 48, then I enter 50, and because it was summation, it is 48 plus 50, I get 80, and that is the way that program was executed. So you can see now, if you come to the PowerPoint, you can see if I were now to change this one to resemble the one that has run, I would say here is Udom, and I would just label this one as UD, and I would label this one here as MO, that is a Moshe University. But even here in the labels now, I should be able now to modify these names eh, such that instead of X, I have UDOM, that is the name. Instead of Y, I have uh, UD, and instead of Z, I will have Moshe University. Then I would enter data. Similarly, these names would change and be uh, like the ones which I have used here. And even in this line now, I would have to modify because my data, the variable that I have are those, and UD, as you can see, and even here, 
I would say now Udom plus uh, UD, and here I would say Mo Mo. So what you can you can see you can appreciate is that with the programming you must have consistency. What variable have you declared or reserved? What labels have you given to those variables? The data that you are entering and the process and where you are sending the results. So after this, this uh, uh, presentation, I want you now to follow me in the other uh, uh, recording where we are still discussing the program about summation so that we can see physically what has happened. We are now going to mimic how the computer performed the program physically.